Hey, I'm Joy. This is my friend Lawrence. If you remember him from my video back in 2023, when I interviewed him about、um, his 2018 performance model three that hit 155,000 miles. Well, a year later, we're back because his car just hit 200,000 miles. So, welcome back. To my channel, Lawrence. Good to see you guys. <laughs> yes. So,、um, when did you hit two hundred thousand miles? It was、uh, two days ago. And today is July third. So、mm -hmm. July first, twenty twenty four. You hit two hundred thousand miles, and、um, you've had this car for. It's almost six years, but so it's about five years, five and a half years almost. Okay, I、yeah. think you got yours like in September of twenty eighteen, right? Because、yeah. I think that's when the performance model three came out. Yeah. So、um, almost six years. Yeah. So like five years and ten months.、Mm -hmm. Let's say. Let's say. And you hit two hundred thousand miles.、Um, so between one hundred fifty-five thousand miles and two hundred thousand miles.、Uh, first of all, everyone is curious. Are you still on the original battery? <laughs> it is still the original battery. <laughs> it is still. I, I, this report will actually be very boring because there's not a whole lot that has changed since 155. It's the original battery. The degradation is actually between nine and ten percent, and it has actually been since 100,000 miles. It was around nine to ten percent. So I actually haven't noticed much difference since. In the last hundred thousand miles, which I think is noteworthy. <laughs> That's interesting. So I guess it kind of plateaued. Yeah. So like it drops fast in the first fifty thousand, seventy, eighty thousand, and then it levels off just like the graphs oh, show. Oh, interesting. So、um, I'm just curious, and I know that the viewers are curious. What do you use? Like, what app do you use to track the degradation? So there's lots of ways to track it, and they'll give you varying results. Like for example, Recurrent, which I think you you talked about, their report gives me a score of 85. So I think that that's 15% degradation.、Um, the way I calculated it was, I ran the car to zero, and then、um, I was I was supercharged it, and I watch how much how many、um, kilowatt hours get added to it, and then I compare that over the the full. So it was 73 kilowatt hours. New, and then I think the car will take in 66 kilowatt hours now. Okay. So that's about 10%. Okay.、Uh, actually, the recurrent score it doesn't mean it's 15%. Oh, okay. Ju I just want to clarify、uh -huh. that. It just I don't know how the scoring works, but my car、um, is hovering between 99 to 100. So I've gotten a hundred score. Um, on it, it doesn't mean that I don't have the degradation. I do, but it's very, very little、mm -hmm. so far.、Um, wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, we have to look more into the. Yeah,、recurrent. yeah, but I thought that the car. I know my. Oh, yours is performance because mine is long range, rear wheel drive, twenty eighteen, and mine has seventy five kilowatt hour battery. So it's seventy five kilowatts total, and then I think they lock out a couple of. Mine was seventy eight. Seventy-eight, and then、new. I thought it was seventy-five. Well, we have to check these. Okay, we'll, we'll check the numbers, <laughs> but I know that mine is supposedly seventy-eight, and then they lock out three, and then so they they tell us or they told us it's seventy-five.、Oh, okay. For me, for the、um, long-range rear-wheel drive,、uh, so you you still have sixty-eight. You said sixty. It's about sixty-six kilowatts. Sixty-six. So, okay. So if if it's over seventy-five, then that would be more degradation. Right. Than ten percent. Okay. It's in that. But that still, two hundred thousand miles. Yeah, and the and and the supercharging, it, if you properly heat it up,、uh, pre-condition pre it, it、yeah. still goes two hundred and fifty kilowatts. Um, still charges great. It's really, really amazing. That is so cool. <laughs> and、um, you still do a hundred percent supercharging. Pretty much. Pretty like, much. Maybe once or twice. Like it's like super、two. rare. Super rare. I mean, okay. We're, we're talking ninety six, ninety seven percent supercharging. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is that's amazing. So original battery,、um, let's say around ten percent degradation, maybe eleven or twelve,、mm -hmm. right? If we do the math. Yeah. 
no issues with the battery no issues with the battery the car wise let me think um we 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 talked about it before that there was some uh, like I had the the squeak in the upper control arm. We had to get I, that. I fixed. had that too. Yeah, that's common. Yeah. Um, the brake pads. Um, I, I've seen them recently. They're still pretty thick because we never use them. So um, you're still on original brake pads original after brake two hundred thousand yeah. miles. Yeah, they're they're the least used part of the car. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, I was thinking, what about like brake? fluid did you so i mean i probably should change it at okay. some point i haven't gotten any like notice to change it and the brakes feel fine but yeah. um i probably does it I, give you a notice to change a brake path fluid? we should we should look into that because <laughs> i don't know if we do yeah i don't know okay but anyway you have not changed i haven't changed anything. any fluids uh yeah but the the commenters will probably uh, tear me a new one telling me what I haven't done. <laughs> All the yeah. YouTube trolls out there yeah. will probably educate yeah, us. Tell me that. what I should do. <laughs> yeah, because the car still works okay. Yeah, and then <laughs> I know when I first sat in the car, we were talking about um, I feel that my car needs to do AC service because my car is coming up six years in two weeks um, in July. So you haven't done that you haven't done that either i haven't done it either but it's a uh, but 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 you're if, in your opinion you think it's not as yeah cold. it's not as cold right now yeah. i mean it's cool and i i see that you have it all the way down to low and it's not cold 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 like when we first pick up the car mm -hmm. so i think you should probably look into that mm -hmm. as well and then um any other like issues you ran into with a car since we last spoke a year so ago. so i think i told you about it uh it, this happened before 155 it was my um my my supercharging uh circuitry ah uh, yes um they said that it it blew a fuse or something and they had to replace it so i'm thinking if i didn't supercharge as much that might not have happened but the the service department said it has nothing to do with they, they actually didn't tell me they don't know why it broke so it, it but that Probably was just age yeah. and like wear and tear <laughs> um so that was one thing i needed to fix okay. and other than that no i don't think there's been anything else it's crazy that's amazing what about tires so How many sets of tires so it's been many sets of tires but it's actually that the tires don't get a chance to fully wear out a lot of times what happens is a nail gets into the side of the tire and they can't fix it so i've lost a lot of tires like that around LA okay um, but the rare tires that make it all the way through their life um, they've got they've they've been around 40 to 50,000 miles okay yeah okay and and I I, I probably don't drive that uh, spiritedly but I do love to go fast when I can so it's not like I'm totally grandmaing it uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and I noticing um, you still have the lifetime efficiency because mine got factory reset like a year or so ago and then that got wiped out. I could not get that back. It does not show up on my car anymore. Your lifetime efficiency is at 244 watt hour per mile. That is amazing because mine is, um, well, since they wiped it, I, I've been tracking it. It's like 267. And yours is a performance and mine is not. So I, I have the answer for you and you guys can make fun of me about it. I know I know what is the main factor that causes it. It's, Please, I want to know too. It's just how much you drive on the freeway and how fast you go on the freeway. Because every, every uh, any speed you go above 60, 65, 70, 80, that it increases exponentially the amount of power that you use. So if you do any of that 80 mile per hour stuff, it's going to... Oh, it's going to use a lot more. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> 80 miles per hour right here. And um, yeah. And I was good. I was thinking, like, do you turn on AC a lot? Because I know AC, you know, uses up um, more right. so efficiency it, as well. So that's true. And I, I live in West LA. So we actually don't use the AC a lot, to be honest. Um, and 
it's just during like the summer months like that that I use it a little bit. Okay. But um, I, I wouldn't say. So I use most it a of the time you like roll yeah. down so, the window to have, or have yeah. the fan. Definitely, going. AC will will use maybe an extra ten percent or something like that. Okay, so that explains it because I have my AC on in my oh, car the whole time, and I drive at eighty miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. I like to go fast. Yeah, so yeah she does. That's. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, what else? What else? Um, think what else tires. to this car? And I'm looking around the. I mean, it still looks new interior wise. Uh, I mean, I I know my car. There's a lot of just you know a little bit of wear and tear here and there, but um, your car looks totally new to me. I uh I I would I would my message to people who are ever interested in Teslas is like, I know that all the new ones, they have all this cool stuff and it's really great and gr they're already really great pricing wise, but the greatest deal out there to me is a used performance three or Y. Cause like these cars, you're getting um, the insane, amazing performance, self-driving and all this capability for like 20, $25,000. Like that's, that's like cheaper than, a Civic or whatever for like a world-class car. Like right. I, I can't believe these cars have d uh, depreciated that much. Yeah. And and this shows that 200,000 miles, like you could buy a used one that's probably like 50,000 miles and you can see that you have a whole life ahead of you. Like, yeah, so absolutely consider used, man. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I did notice though that you have a little warning mm -hmm. on the screen. Um, I guess one of the sensors in the seat is out, which I had that issue early on when I, when my car was still under warranty, yeah. I think like the first year or two and Tesla repaired it. Yeah, it's been the most annoying part of my tr ex ownership experience is there's some kind of wire that's loose and then they, they fixed it when it was under warranty. Then it happened again out of warranty and then they, the service department told me they want to replace the entire seat and that costs over $2,000 just to fix that, that error message. And I was like, you guys gotta be kidding. Uh, but that's, yeah. that was, so I just left it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I had that error message, and I was freaking out because it's, it says something like the safety fault or something. Mm -hmm. But Tesla, as well as uh, non-Tesla mechanics, um, commented on my video saying that it actually happens to all cars, not just Teslas. And it's a seat sensor issue. So the car is still safe to drive. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, now I, when I see that error message, I don't freak out anymore just because I know it's that they need to replace a sensor yeah so but but it's been very disappointing i would have to say my ownership experience like it, the in the whole part of it the, the most disappointing thing is has been tesla service um they're just like my experience i hopefully your experience might be better but my experience has been they're just they don't exude a sense of like competence or like I, I don't know if they know what they they're talking about a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, and also I think the the recent um, layoffs oh, didn't yeah. help either. So um, I've been taking my car to non-Tesla third mm -hmm. party to service it. So because um, I know they're swamped, and also recently when I got into that collision, mm -hmm. I send it to a Tesla approved body shop instead of a Tesla collision center because the wait was two months out That's crazy. and I couldn't wait. So, um, awesome. Um, so you suggested that I drive your car a little bit and see if I can feel any yeah. different from yours. Yeah, so, so from mine. So <laughs> I will tell you guys that so I remember the moment that I drove the car off of the lot. It was very a big deal to me and everything. And what's crazy is the, the new cars might be, they are smoother and well, maybe uh, more silent and put together with better insulation. But this car after 200,000 miles feels the same. It gives me the same feeling as when I rolled off the lot for the first time. Like I don't, I don't hear the creaks or, or whatever. Like the, the drivetrain doesn't feel loose, which I, I've driven other cars like Toyotas, Hondas over 200,000 miles also. So um, it's a very different experience. Yeah, than it doesn't a gas feel car. sluggish. Yeah, like gas but but cars. but I I would really like her to to try it and give her opinion because she's uh, more objective than me. <laughs> no, I'm actually not a car person. So, <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's let's do a little drive and then see what happens. Great.
All right, so I am driving the Performance Model 3, 200,000 miles, coming up six years old. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like tiny tap on it. It still launches just like new. And this is definitely more powerful than my Model 3, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. This is amazing. I can't believe this car is 200,000 miles. Drives like new, brand new, brand new. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fun. It is still so much fun. So we just came back from a little bit of drive and as you saw, this car drives brand new. It drives as a performance model three because it launches way faster and when I feather tap on the acceleration it goes much faster and smoother than my rear wheel drive model three so thank you for the opportunity for me to um, drive your car 200,000 miles I still can't believe it and um, Earlier you mentioned about the tires and when we spoke, when um, you're at 155,000 miles, you mentioned that you only get cheap tires. Yeah. So that's still the case, right? <laughs> it's still the case. And I understand that that's not, uh, tires are the most important thing that you put on a car. I, I just like to think that you don't have to pay the $400 per tire premium that Michelin charges. I, I, I was testing like the cheapest stuff out there to see how does it perform in real life. And I'm pretty sure, you know, on a, on a racetrack or on a, some, some test, it, it won't be as good, but for everyday purposes, it's, it works just fine for me. And when a nail gets into those tires, then I feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah. And cause you, you have gotten a lot of nails. So many, like 20 at least or something crazy like that. Yeah. I've lost there, so it's many. like, it, it seems like every time I talk to you, you're like, oh, I got a nail in my tire. I'm like, again? Yeah. So, yeah, it makes sense for you yeah. to get the cheap I, tires. I would say, you know, give it a shot if you hate them or whatever. Uh, you go back to the, the good stuff. But, I mean, you could really save a lot of money, especially because that's like the, the biggest expense I've had on the whole car. Exactly. And then when I was driving it, I couldn't even tell. I mean, we're, you know, driving on city streets and yeah, we did you, the launch couple times just tiny launches right <laughs> and it was totally fine so okay and then you also still have fsd fsd which it's it's like i i forget how um how amazing it is that the six-year-old car when i got the car it had none of that capability it had basic autopilot and then now it's still getting the new updates it's it's improved like it has it, it's doing all the amazing stuff that the newer cars do still I'm sure there'll be a point where that doesn't happen anymore, but we're still, it's just, it's great. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much yeah. for uh, uh, letting me interview you when your car hit uh, 200,000 miles and letting me drive this. Thank and, you for uh, driving the car and, and validating my experience. <laughs> yes, so maybe we'll see you at uh, 300,000 miles. And if you guys have any questions about uh, whatever that we didn't cover, I'm happy to answer. Yeah, leave comments down below. Thank you.